We're here fun on the street with Harris Tour, owner and CEO of the Milwaukee Admirals. We are delighted to be able to speak with you today. Season is starting again. What's the date? So our, we're dropping the puck here at home on Oct Saturday, October 16th, and uh, we're all get, getting very excited. You know, it's it's been such an odd year and a half for all of us, and to not be able to do what we do best uh, for this period of time has been definitely odd. But uh, our entire office staff is uh, definitely excited about getting back to it. It is incredible what well, the country has gone through the last year and a half. And like your season was shut down last year, right? Yep. So I could uh, appreciate how this is so true. What's it look like for the arena? The name of your facility that you're playing here is? The uh, Milwaukee Panther Arena. As we sit here today, this is August 31st, we're expecting to have fans and no limitations right now. And you know, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that things will stay that way. Obviously, there's some challenges out there and what it's gonna look like on October 16th, I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we all know, literally, things can change day by day or week by week, so we're, yeah. we're ready for that. Okay, the players have been able to practice in the usual ways recently on ice. Uh... So our players, you know, wherever they are, whether they be in Canada, Europe, many are in Nashville, they're getting ready for the season. They've been on the ice. Uh, Nashville got finished with their rookie camp, and guys are going to be reporting to Nashville in about two weeks. So as the owner and CEO, there's a lot of different aspects I could ask you about. How about a little history of uh, your life? Just sort of go through a little bit of childhood, early adult years, What's and led you to where you are today. So I grew up in uh, Fox Point and uh, ultimately uh, attended Nicolet High School when I left. Nicolet, I went on to Madison, uh, came back though and graduated from uh, UWM. You know, just started my work career. I was, uh, I worked at, my first job out of college was with the Great Circus Parade, which <laughs> maybe for many, many of your younger viewers, they don't remember, but at one time, this was an event that drew hundreds of thousands of people to downtown Milwaukee in the middle of the summer. So it was a huge event and I was an intern there. I eventually ended up uh, in the management training program of First Star Bank, which is now U.S. Bank, uh, which was a great learning experience for me. So learned every aspect of the bank from bottom to top. Was in the restaurant business a little bit, and then got into the property management business. Uh, did that for a number of years, and then the opportunity to buy the Admirals came along. Uh, prior to that, though, I should add that I became one of the owners of the Brewers back in late 1996. I was very concerned at the time that the, the Brewers might leave town, and I was a huge baseball fan, and going to baseball games meant a lot to me. And I yeah. couldn't imagine, I, had no, I did not have children at the time, and I really wanted to keep baseball here. Fortunately, the team stayed. They passed the, um, the tax that ended up funding Miller Park, now Amphim Field. I became an owner then. The Admirals thing came about a little bit due to that because uh, Jane Pettit was also one of the owners of the Brewers when I joined and her representative and I became friendly and they had uh, they had been for sale for a while after Mrs. Pettit passed away and decided like, you know, it might be a really unique opportunity to actually run a sports team on my own. Being an owner of the Brewers was great, but you didn't really have a say. Here it was going to be like, well, what I say goes and whether I'm right or wrong, we're going to try it out. So decided to do it, and I will tell you, even here today, it's the best professional decision I ever made. Doing it, there's always ups and downs, but it's been an exciting ride. Met so many great people along the way. Just something I never even imagined. I love what I do, and I'm very fortunate to be able to work with the great people that I do in our office every day, and the people that are actually in this locker room year after year. A lot of neat people have come through here, and we've uh, I've gotten to know them. Some have become friends. And, it's, I'm just very lucky. Incredible story. There's all kinds of stuff there that's so interesting. And of course, the, your passion, appreciation, what you've been doing as the owner stands out, right? Like that's what's so exciting. What aspect of your roles in, in, in what you're doing are most special for you? It is the relationships you have with the people that like work in, in the office. I'm here every day. Many owners are, this is you know not their nine to five job. This is my nine to five job. The people I work with every day, and, how we're, you know, we were talking earlier, how we're getting ready for our season. That's what we do, we coordinate and work together to, to bring this package together for, for the fans of, of Milwaukee and the community. I love doing that. 
Uh, I like the things that we're able to do as a sports team. You know, sports teams have a lot of power and they, you know, when you have, we've had charity games, for example, and we're just three dollars from your ticket that you buy goes to a local charity and you think about that well one three dollars that's nothing yeah but if you have ten thousand people at a game at three dollars that's thirty thousand dollars and you donate to one charity in one night and all you did was have people come to watch a hockey game and so you realize that the, wow the power that you have the we literally donate hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to local organizations whether it be through cash or uh, jersey signed or sticks or any number of things that we do and I'm really proud of the impact that we make in the community I think that's really important to give back that's something that you know if you ask me what are you most proud of this that's definitely one of the things wow. I'm most very, proud. very impressive uh, let's talk about some of the players you were talking about the special people that have walked through this and you've spent a lot of close time with them I'm sure, sure. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, that particular individuals perhaps Maybe the most prominent player that has come through our organization since I bought the team is uh, our former goalie, uh, Pekka Rene. So Pekka Rene just retired from the NHL. The years he spent here were really special. The first year he came here, we went all the way to the finals. I thought, oh, we're going to do this every year. And of course we didn't, but he took us on a ride that I never could have imagined. His retirement, like, says, wow, I've been owning this team for a long time. And, but his impact has been amazing. And there was a time, I think it was about seven, eight years ago, he got injured, was out for a while. And then when he came back, he did. He had two rehab games with us. And it was like old times again, <laughs> this really special moment. And people came to see him play. And it was just a really cool moment for a couple days that like took us back to like when I first bought the team. Many other great, great players who've come through here who are a major part of the Nashville Predators run to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2017. It was like roughly 75, 80% of that team had come through our organization. Other players though, like Darren Hadar, who was our captain when I bought the team and uh, led us in scoring. He's a friend and uh, somebody who was an important part of this organization's history, especially like just before I bought the team when they won the championship and for a couple of years after that. There are other great ones I could go on and on, but I mean, those are two and think of right off the top of my head. You hired a new coach three years ago. Tell me something about uh, Carl Taylor. Uh, over, yeah, just share some perspective on that. So we don't actually do the hiring. Nash the Nashville Predators do the hiring at all levels. Carl came here with an impressive resume. He came here from the Texas Stars, which is the Dallas Stars affiliate. He had been an assistant there. They had won a uh, Calder Cup championship. And so he had you know, pedigree coming in here with uh, experience and knowledge of what it takes to win. A couple of years ago in 2019-20, uh, we were the best team in the league and you know his leadership was a huge part of that uh, it was so unfortunate we couldn't finish the season due to COVID but you could see his leadership guiding this team to the place that we were and yeah. so it's uh, he brings a lot to the table and we're excited about the coming season as well it's interesting you talk about the appreciation of the players you talk about the community I'm reminded of I saw Red Arbach interviewed with two other major coaches, GMs actually in this case, and uh, he talked about the love. And they asked him like, how you know this guy, this motivational kind of speaker, was looking for how do you do it? You know, the, the Boston Celtics had a dynasty. Like, right. what was the key? And Red Arbach with his cigar, you, you know, so street kind of guy. He, the only words he could use is, he talked about loving his players. and So anyways, I digress slightly, but anyways, regarding team chemistry yeah, and your current team, any comments about that? At our level, the players constantly are changing. They're in and out of the door because we're a stepping stone for many of our guys to the NHL. And during the course of the season, you know, there's injuries up in, in Nashville and our players are the ones who come in and fill in those spots. And uh, the chemistry though, the key is to have key veterans who are gonna basically be with you most of the time, as well as a couple guys below them who can step in if that player gets called up. And we've had outstanding leadership in this locker room year after year. That is, you look at any good team, any team that's successful, anywhere, they have good leadership in the locker room. If they don't and there's problems, you will fail. And so uh, we've had great 
players come in, lead this team, have the respect of their teammates, and I mean, I give all the credit in the world to the National Predators organization for finding those key guys. Not just guys who perform on the ice, but they, they perform in this locker room and are able to guide and lead by example and through their words. What are you seeing for in a few weeks, the puck hits the ice, as you say, and excitement starts. Games win and lost. What are you seeing around the corner for this team? Well, we have some really nice leadership and veterans coming back, and that's going to be the key, how they get the young guys going. But we have probably first couple offensive lines that we have are very strong. They're going to be tough to beat on the ice. It's going to be the development of, their young, of the young guys who are draft picks, who are signed guys from college, and uh, if they can develop and be, we can be four lines deep, that's a good team. We also have outstanding leadership in our defensive unit. We're veteran, we're strong there, and we have good goaltending, and of course that's the key. Uh, and so we have Connor Ingram, uh, part of our team from 1920 coming back, and uh, we have a young goalie as well named Devin Cooley. So we good good strength in that net, and that's going to be key to keeping the puck out and giving our guys a chance to uh, put a team together. Because every year the team needs to come together and gel, and it always takes a little bit more time when you're you have some youth on it. Yeah, and we do. Yeah. What do you say to the fans who aren't too familiar with hockey? What can you say to the viewers who hopefully will be reaching as to why if they come, they're going to have a, a, a very good experience? Well, I'm happy you asked that question. You know, we pride ourselves on putting on a great day of game show. Our league has recognized us with the award for being the best in the league. And the people that work at our organization make sure you will come, whether you're a hockey fan or not, and you're gonna be entertained from the beginning to the end. You know, we can't control what goes on on the ice, but we can control what happens off the ice and with those timeouts and uh, between periods. And we do everything that we possibly can so that you and your family will come. And when you leave our game, you'll say, that was worth it. The money we spent was worth it. We had a great time and we look forward to coming back. I mean, that's just game in and game out. We have great giveaway items. Uh, hopefully we're gonna have a, our regular uh, concert series. We always bring in some great acts, nationally renowned acts that have come through here from Dirk Bentley to Blake Shelton, um, you name it, uh, Ario Speedwagon. Uh, we've had a lot of big time acts and we've been very fortunate to do that and we're going to do that again. I think people come, they get entertained, they have fun and their, their families have a great time and it's affordable. We're so happy to be here with Harris Tour today. You know when I watched video preparing for this I was immediately impressed with um, the down-to-earthness, the manner in which you were very simple, very clear, very open, just a very secure individual talking about what you're doing here. And so um, I think the, the Midwest fans will appreciate that. Oh, uh, just a shout out, uh, I appreciate how you show up, look forward to you guys having a great season and, thank, and getting out of COVID, right? Yeah, exactly. And I thank you very much for this opportunity to get together, talk a little bit about the Admirals and what we're getting ready to do this season and uh, we're excited about it and I'm hoping that the fans out there will come on down to the Panther Arena and enjoy a great, great night of uh, fun and ex excitement. You got these young hockey players, big aspirations, trying to work their way up, nice community here in Milwaukee, great organization. Fun on the Street recognizes that. We just say hope you enjoyed our talk today and come and enjoy some hockey.